Hi guys, my name is Kalpana Yadav. Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe I'm sitting in my room filming a video because I haven't talked to the camera like this since long time now. Yeah, I took a break from YouTube. That's why I haven't posted anything in about nearly two months now. And my last video was uploaded in November. So I had so much going on in my life, many, many exciting moments. I got married on 28th November. So yeah, basically this was the main reason I could not upload anything on YouTube or Instagram. But now I'm very, very excited to be back. So without any further delay, let's start. So let's just talk about what will I post in upcoming 3 to 4 videos. So next 3 to 4 videos will be on previous year questions that were asked in food safety officer exams that may be central or any state exam. So that will be covered. So these videos will be helpful to all the students if they are preparing for any state FSO exam or FSSA exams of course. And we all know that FSSA exam dates have also been postponed. So I think these videos will be beneficial to all the students. So yeah, let's start. So the first question here is, APEDA was established by the government of India in December 1985, December 1980, February 1986 or January 1980. So the right answer here is option number C which is February 1986. So the full form of APEDA is Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority and it was established by the government of India under APEDA Act which was passed by the parliament in December 1985 and APEDA came into existence on 13 February 1986. So here two things you have to remember, act was passed in 1985 and the authority came into existence on 1986. If we talk about the head office of APEDA, it is in New Delhi and there are 12 regional offices. So the main objective of it is to promote the export and assure the quality of products as per the international requirement. So basically, it helps in the export promotion of agricultural products and processed food products. So the next question here is, in case the seized food article is perishable and unfit for human consumption, FSO should Option A is send the sample for analysis, B is after giving notice and writing to FBO, destroy the same, C is destroy the same without notifying the FBO and the D is return the same to FBO after notifying him and writing. So the right answer here is option B which is after giving notice in writing to FBO, destroy the same. So the Food Safety and Standards Act consists of 12 chapters and 101 sections. So in that section number 38 powers of food safety officer is given. So in that it is mentioned that FSO can seize any article of food which appears to the FSO to be in contravention of the Food Safety Act or the regulations. So in the same section it is mentioned that if the article of food which is seized is, per is of perishable nature and the FSO is satisfied that that food article is so deteriorated that it is unfit for human consumption. Then FSO after giving notice in writing to the FBO can destroy the same. So after destroying the seized food article, FSO has to inform the designated officer. The next question is, the objective of edible oil packaging regulation order 1998 is to ensure the so is to ensure that the solvent extracted oils do not reach the customer without refining, ensure easing in vegetable oil product prices, ensure to confirm the quality standards specified in the order or ensure the availability of safe and quality edible oils. So the right answer here is option D which is ensure the availability of safe and quality edible oils. So the next question is BIS certification for drinking water is binding regulation, obligatory standard, voluntary standard or mandatory standard. So the right answer here is option D which is mandatory standard which means it is made compulsory by the law. The next question is, BIS is a national standards body supported by Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of External Affairs and Ministry of Consumer Affairs and Public Distribution. So the right answer here is option number D which is Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. So BIS means Bureau of Indian Standards and it came into existence through an act of parliament which was passed in 26 November 1986 and then it came into existence on 1st April 1987. The main objectives of BIS are also given here. You can also read them. The next question is full form of IUU fishing. Option A is illegal, unreal, unregulated. B an illegal, unreported, unregulated. C imported, unreported, unregulated. 
and D is imported, unreported, and unregistered. So the right answer here is option B, which is illegal, unreported, unregulated. Next question here is a society that organizes grassroots level capacity building programs among fishermen, fisherwomen, processing workers, and other stakeholders, thereby changing their mindset toward fish quality management and responsible fishing. So the options are netfish, apeda, ampeda, co. So the right answer here is netfish. Netfish means Network for Fish Quality Management and Sustainable Fishing. So it is a society formed in 2006 under the Marine Product Export Development Authority, Kochi. So the earlier question which was about IUU fishing is also from this topic only. So headquarters of the Ampeda is in Kochi and the main objective of Ampeda is to promote the exports of all varieties of fishery products known as shrimp, lobster, prawns, fish etc. And it is a nodal agency for the holistic development of seafood industry and Netfish is a society which comes under this Ampeda authority. Next question we have is a petty food manufacturer is someone who has a tiny food business with an annual turnover not exceeding. 18 lakh, 16 lakh, 12 lakh, 14 lakh. So the right answer here is C. Option number C which is 12 lakh. So now let's just look at the other criteria from which we can decide if the particular business comes under the petty food manufacture or not. So the first one is annual turnover. If the annual turnover of your business is less than or up to 12 lakhs, then you will be called petty food manufacture. The other criteria are like if the production capacity of food is less than or up to 100 kg or 100 liter per day. If you are into the milk business, so the procurement or handling of milk is up to 500 liters of milk per day and in slaughtering if slaughtering capacity is less than or up to two large animals 10 small animals or 50 poultry birds then you will be called petty food manufacturer food authority comprises of 22 members out of which women shall make up to three-fourth one-third two-third half so the right answer here is one-third so if you will read the section 5 of fss act uh, composition of food authority and the qualifications for appointment of its chairperson and other members is given in section 5. So in that it is mentioned that food authority will consist of a chairperson and 22 members out of which one third shall be women. If you want to know the further bifurcation of these 22 members then you have to read the section 5 of FSS Act. In this slide structural framework of FSSI is given. So the next question is the clean street food is an initiative taken up under 360 degree approach to food safety and healthy nutrition only safety adulteration hygiene so the right answer here is option number a which is food safety and healthy nutrition so let's know more about the clean street food hub so the project clean street food hub is an initiative taken up by fssa under a 360 degree approach to food safety and healthy nutrition so it would involve the training and capacity building of street food vendors and ensure proper regulatory oversight over them under FSS Act. So the main objective of this initiative is to ensure health, hygiene and safety standards of street food for all the consumers and also to enhance or economic upliftment of street vendor community and also improve or enhance the popularity of street food. So these are some of the objective of the, this initiative which is called Clean Street Food Hub. So if you like this video and want more videos like this then please like this video and subscribe to my channel.